In this video, we'll learn to calculate with money using correct notation. Now, we use money in everyday life, so it's really important that we write it using the correct notation. So we don't mistake the pence for the pounds. We know how to add and how to subtract them. So I've got this amount of money, which I've lined up based on their value, because always in terms of money, when we write them down, the coins with the higher value come first, and that's how we calculate money. So as you can see, I've got a pound and 50 pence and five pence. So the decimal point represents or separates the pounds from the pence always. So I would write this as one pound and 55 pence. Notice how the pound is on top of the one because there is one pound and that's where its place is. And then point, we've got the 10, 20 or 50 pence coins because we read this as one pound and 55. So there come the tens and in this case it's five tens or 50 and five, five, just five pence. It would be the same as five 1p coins. Now let's look at this one. So do I have any pound coins? Do these make a pound? That is just 10 and 2, so it's 12, just 12 pence. No pounds, so I'll put a zero in front and put the decimal point next. So these are in the correct order as well. So we've got the tens, 10p coins first. So that makes, there is just one 10p, which is worth 10 pence. And we've got two pence after that. So it's 12 after the decimal point. That 12 represents the 12 pence. And what I have here is 10 pounds and 20 pence. I haven't got any pennies, so it's going to be 20 pence. So what I'm going to do with these amounts, first of all, I'll add these two together and then I'll subtract it from this. So here is the cost of, let's say, a can of beans and here is the cost of a curry bag and this is the money that I've got in my pocket. So let's add these two together. Notice how I line them up. So I've got one pound and 55 pence. Now I've got 12 pence here, but I've got to make sure I've got a zero under the pounds column. And I've got the 12 pence where they belong. So that's the 10p column after the decimal point 10 p column as well. So I've got them lined up and I can see that the decimal points are under the decimal points always. So I'm gonna add them, so I go. Starting with the units, just like with whole numbers. So five and two make seven, five and one make six, decimal point underneath, one and zero makes one. So these two together cost one pound and 67 pence. Now here is my budget. This is what I have in my pocket. How much would I have left after I've paid for this? So I'll write this 10 pounds, 20 pence. Take away one pound and 67. Now always reference points, put the decimal points under the decimal points and that would help you. This here represents the units. So I've got a unit, I've got one pound. I haven't got 10, so I can't put it there or 20 or 30 or whatever. So I'm gonna have to put it here under the units. And also this is just before the decimal point. So decimal point here, that should go just before the decimal point where I lined them up as well. After the decimal point, I've got a six and then a seven. And that matches because that is 20 pence and this is 60 pence. So the tens line up, tens, tenths or 10 p's 
10p coins and the 1p coins over here i haven't got any when it comes to 20 pens i haven't got 21 22 or 23 or so on but i've got 67 so there are seven pens in this amount i'm going to take them away so i need to take away seven from the zero but i can't really do that so i'm gonna have to borrow one from the two so the one becomes the two becomes a one and the zero becomes 10. So 10 take away seven leaves me with three. Now one take away six. Again, I can't really do that. So I'm gonna to have to borrow one from the 10. So that becomes a nine and this becomes 11. 11 take away six gives me five. Nine take away one leaves me with eight. So what I've just done is that I borrowed a pan from this so that gave me 10 10p coins that's why from a one that became 11 so 11 10p coins in total and this shows how to represent money or write money using correct notation but also calculate with money so adding and subtracting money